Yo, Silver Fiends! Today's video is sponsored by Luke Zion, and he sent over a silver style chain that I haven't seen before with a little added flair. So let's roll my motherfucking music, because this kid is slowly becoming like the king of silver. I'm kind of a big deal. My beautiful peoples, you know who it is. This is your boy, C to you to be today. Today's video is sponsored by Luke Zion. Shout out to Luke Zion brand for sponsoring today's video and showing me new pieces that I haven't seen. That's why I kind of call the kid like the fucking king of silver. He's a one man band, like, he actually cares and really digs through the crates of fucking Italian manufacturers or wherever he gets it from to select unique, high polish, good quality silver pieces that he will stand by. Like, there's conversations that I've had with the dude about trying to obtain something or whatever, and he's like, yeah, I've tried this out, but it won't last long, or this lock is flimsy, or this is kind of shitty, or whatever, and I really don't want to put that type of shit out. Most people aren't going to do that shit. They're just going to be like, yo, let me get 7,000 pieces of this. Uh, that is uh, save $6. Let me get that one. They're going to do that just to make a quick buck, but it really seems like dude is putting in the effort, getting good pieces at the best deals and best quality possible for the silver fans. And I mean, that's important when you're buying from somebody, right? Granted, his prices aren't crazy either. Can you potentially find them cheaper? Maybe you can, but are you going to get that kind of level of detail and quality and like quality control from somebody else? I don't know. So he hits me up and he's like, Kuba, you've done reviews on box chains. I'm like, yeah, I think I've done one or two. He's like, have you seen a diamond cut box chain? I'm like, I beg your pardon? A what? No. What does that even look like? So he's like, all right, I'm going to send you two. I'm going to send you the regular three millimeter box chain. And I'm going to show you the new eight sided diamond cut box chain. So let's take a look at this shit because I haven't opened the package yet. Again, standard Luke Zion packaging. We know what it looks like. Very simple with a stick with a sticker on it. And here we go. Oh, you can kind of see the difference right from jump. All right, so they come in two drug bags. All right, so let me, yeah, that's, oh, interesting. All right, so here we got one. Let me take out the other one. We want to look at them side by side. I'm going to give you close-up shots as well. Okay, so here's the standard three millimeter box chain. I mean, the chain itself has a nice little shine to it. I'm not going to hold you. The chain itself has a beautiful shine to it. It's actually a good daily wear size if you're a box chain type person. Obviously a stamped 925, it is lobster clasp. I mean, I've never seen a fucking box lock on one of these joints. But yeah, stamped 925, it's a very nice size. But the diamond cut, I hope the camera picks it up, the close-up shot should do it. So the difference between the regular and the diamond cut is sales same facets, right? So the box one is just box, 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 right? So what this one is across, cut, cut, down, cut, down, cut, down. So every corner of the box is kind of just sliced, which adds a nice little extra flair. Again, I don't know how much the camera is going to pick it up and I'll try to zoom in as much as possible, but you can see the corners diamond cut and it has an added polish to it to add a little bit of flair. I'll put them side by side. I don't think this is going to show it and do it justice to be honest with you. Oh, it does a little bit but not too much. I've never seen that before and it really in person adds a bit of flair to it. I'm gonna show you some up close shots and side by side so you guys can see them and see if the difference is enough for you to be interested in. Like silver box chains in itself on a three millimeter size, I think it's pretty chill daily wear. If you can find the silver pendant to go along with it, that would really complement it. Or just buy two of them and stack them and it'll give you a nice look and shine and we'll do that with the you know what later. Let's check out these close-up shots. So this one right here is the diamond cut one. You can see the edges, what I'm talking about, with that flat bevel. So the top has that polish, then the corner has that chisel kind of look. It looks like a mini silver bar. You know what I'm saying? Instead of a bar of gold, it looks like a silver bar. And you can see how the, it just starts to catch the light in the studio, showing those cuts. I mean, it's a very, very clean chain. It's good construction, good quality. There isn't any porous marks or any weird shit going on. It's got a very nice high polish. And again, those diamond cuts really do add a bit of a, of a flair to it. This is the regular one. You can see it's just flat, 
flat, flat. Also a shiny piece. Don't get it twisted, but you can see it's completely flat as opposed to this one having that beveled edge. But yeah, the diamond cut for me actually does it a little bit better to be honest with you. That diamond cut does add a little bit of a flare, a little bit more playful in my opinion. Now these are three millimeter, I believe they're 24 or 22, but we'll check them out now. Let's put them both on. Yes, yeah, it's 24. So these are both 24 inches. I wanna put them both on just so you can get the stack look and see if that shit is something that works for you. Damn, they look kinda, I, I would say buy two of them. Neck profile. Yeah, I'm kind of sold on two. One, one looks fly. It's just clean, especially with this black t-shirt. It just pops like a motherfucker. But with two, with two, it's a movie. I like this. This is a good look. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Shout out to Luke Zion for sponsoring this video and keep showing me new silver shit. Like, I didn't think there was so much variety with silver, to be honest with you. I just thought it would be like a couple of pieces or whatever. This kid's pulling out fucking alien-esque looking pieces. Like, I'm like... Who has this much fucking silver? I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. I'll see you bitches next time. You know what it's biggest in the game? Smooches. Put a fly gun, hold a money folder, hold a roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.